John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevated Magazine, and I'm here with the beautiful Linda Pavlova. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Did I get that last name right? <laughs> yes, you did it very well. I thought well. y'all was going to say it, Anna. Yeah, you pronounced it very well, mm. the right way. Oh, good deal. Now listen, tell everybody what you do. Well, I'm a Miss Cinema Europe, and I just got here from Rome, Italy. Okay. And I'm an actress and model. Okay. Now, so you Miss Cinema Europe. Europe. Yeah. Okay, now what does it take to be Miss Cinema Europe? Well, that's... Well, I won the title last year. Okay, like what is it, like a pageant or what is it? Yeah, it's a huge pageant in Europe and I won this. It was uh, actually held in Rome in Italy, okay. in the Piazza Venezia, in the square of uh, Venice. Okay, now how long do you, ha do you hold that title? How long do I hold it? Yeah. One year. One year yeah. and then you got to go back and then you got to give it up and it's like a pageant. Well, it is a pageant but it's really important because basically with that I got to uh, shoot a really important movie in Rome, in Italy, okay. uh, directed by Giacomo Campiotti, and it's called It's Never Too Late, the film, and I did one of the Twins Kessler, which is a really important part in Europe. Okay. Now, are you in the States now, or are you just over yeah. here visiting? Yeah. No, I'm here now in States. I'm kind of looking around okay. how it's Hollywood okay. looking like, and... Uh, We'll see what's going to be like. Okay, so you look. Hey, it's me, John Elgany, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with my man, John Woosaw. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for having me, man. Hey, did I get that last name right, man? Woosaw. Of course, everybody <laughs> got to get it right, man. All right, now listen, man. Is it? I just heard that you were voted by IMDb top 40, under 40 for Asian actors to look out for. What's yeah. that all about, man? Um, I woke up one day, and uh, my manager... <laughs> blew up my phone, my agents blew up my phone, right. and they said, like, go to IMDb right now, look up, look at IMDb. I'm like, all right, fine. I went to IMDb, and there it was, um, the top Asian actors, right. the top 40 Asian actors that are under 40 that Hollywood should look out for, and I thought nothing of it. I'm like, oh, cool, I probably know a few of my, you know, my friends that are on right. this list, right. you know, going down, and lo and behold, I'm on that list. Bam, there go John Wusa. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's an insane blessing. It's an honor and a privilege right. that IMDb would put out this list and that okay. I would be included in it. Right. You know, um, I was completely humbled by it. You know, I'm right. so honored. And it's one of those things. It's a blessing, man. It's a real blessing. Okay. Now, I know to be voted on that list, mm -hmm. you had to be involved in some projects. What's some of the yeah. projects you've been involved in? Um, I've been involved in quite a few of my own projects. Um, I've been... Uh, in Disney's Shake It Up, I've also okay. been in. Uh, I've also been in The Voice. Oh, okay. um, I've also done uh, a lot of, quite a few feature films, online web series, and stuff like that. So okay. that's why I wanted for me. I never. I didn't think that I. I would be a person to be right. on this list, but I guess some people are looking. They've been watching you, they're man. They're watching, and and my fan base blew up. You know. Um, right. You know, I'm almost at 3,000 likes on my fan page, so oh, it's crazy. Okay. If you guys, you know, want to check it out. Yeah, tell them how to check it out. More than welcome to go to www.facebook.com slash jwusa. That's J-W-U-S-A-H. <laughs> hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with the money man, Mr. Michael Lesnar. How you doing? Hello, John. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Now, look, tell her. Try to, try to calm down a little bit. Uh, man, I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm calm, uh, man. Okay. I'm, I'm just excited right. about okay. talking to you, man. Okay. Look. I'm tell, excited about talking to you. All right. Tell everybody what it is you do. I produce American Health Journal and The Doctor Show, and um, I've been doing that since 1986. Okay. Uh, former president at CBS for four years, uh, president of Animax Entertainment, uh, animation, a um, lot of stuff. So um, I'm actually here primarily for Linda, uh, who, who you were right, just, talking, just, just, just with talking with. Yes. And uh, kind of introducing her to uh, to people here in town. Okay. Uh, she's here for a short period of time, but uh, uh, we're we're trying to, to really kind of rouse up some interest her. for her. Right. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure that won't be hard. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it it's Hollywood. It's a funny so. town. It's right. a funny town. You know, but uh, uh, having an accent and, and being from a foreign country isn't the easy thing uh, that it is for us here right. you know, to uh, to, uh, to kind of jump right in. So I think she'll do. I think yeah, she'll do I, I well. Think she, she may do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Now, any projects right now that you want to, you know, push out there and, and let people yeah, become aware a, of it? there's a couple. Uh, two shows in development right now, uh, one with Fiddy, okay. uh, Charles King at William Morris. Uh, it's a mixed martial arts uh, sort of American Idol okay. uh, tournament. 
And another one is a reality show called Shop Class, which is a competition for high school shop classes to build hot cars and sell them and, and make, uh, make being in Shop Class a cool thing again. Because right, everybody's right. forgetting about it. Right, because back in the day, Shop Class used to be it. It was the coolest thing. Right, and and yeah. now everybody's getting pushed to a computer. And that right. that sucks. Right. Cause that's no good. Yeah, right. You need people... You know, you need people in this world to build things, to be electricians and plumbers and auto mechanics and whatever, and it's really important if this country doesn't uh, start doing that, there's gonna be trouble. Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with my man, Jay-Z Long. How you doing, man? Good, how about you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Now listen, tell everybody about what it is you do. Um, so I'm an actor and I'm a singer and in China there's something called Weibo and I and then this Weibo thing has a music um, page and so I got a number one song on the music page. You got a number one song in China on the music page? Yeah. What's the title of that song? It's called Girl in Beijing. Girl in Beijing? Mm -hmm. Now did you write it or? Um, I helped a little bit. Yeah. You helped a little bit but you, you, you the face of the song right? Okay, okay, listen, okay, do this right here. Can you give me a little bit of that song? Okay, okay. I'll start a little bit. Give me okay. a little bit of it. She was standing there, waiting for the bus. I was walking along the third ring road, just wondering where to go. I said hi, she said hello. We started talking, and next thing I know, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 okay. I was going to stop you anyway because you're going to give them too much. They got to go buy the album, right? You can't give it all to them on the red yeah. carpet. Okay, now that's just your singing, and yeah. that's just in China. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you're an actor also, right? Yes. Okay, now tell us about some of the movies that you've done over here. Okay, so I came here like eight months ago, and I made a Christmas movie. It's called um, Hollywood, uh, Christmas in Hollywood. Okay. And I got on the Hollywood Christmas Parade for this movie. Wow, okay. Yeah, and then there's four more movies coming up. And then one of them is called Telescope, one of them is called White Fang, and one of them is called Crazy 12 Days. And okay. the last one is called Dickens of a Christmas. Okay, you got a lot going on. So look, what I need you to do is look right Right there, mm -hmm. and you tell them how they can follow you and find out about all the stuff you got coming up. Um, so I have in China something called Weibo, and it's called JP Jiang Zilong. Yeah, it's in Chinese. <laughs> yeah, so um, and in America, I have um, not really anything really. Okay. I only have an Instagram, and it's kind of like personal and stuff. But okay, all right. <laughs> Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevated Magazine, and I'm here with my man, the producer, Timothy Ryan Lahr. How's it going? You asking me questions, man. <laughs> I'm going to ask you how you doing. <laughs> Not uh, the producer in you, ain't it? Oh, yeah, of Telling course. Telling people what to do. Hey, we got to do it like this. Oh, of course. That's how, that's how it always goes. <laughs> right. Now, look, how did you get involved in this project? Well, I had met Daryl uh, two years ago when he first started writing the project, said okay. I had this great idea, and I was like, cool, let me hear it. Okay. He had to pitch it to me, and once he pitched it, I was like, dude, I got to do this. He was in. I, oh, I was so in. Okay. I loved it. I love the story. It's so pure. It's so strong, and right. it's got a really deep core. Okay. So powerful. Okay. Now, how has it been bringing it from when he sat down and pitched it to you to now? I mean, being producer, I know how it is trying to raise money, trying to get all the stuff in place so you can put a project out there. How hard has that been, man? It's been it's it's been a challenge for sure, but we've we've definitely strung through it. Uh, it's been a lot of ups and downs for me and Daryl, but like I said, as, as it comes with every production, you know, you got to work past those in right. order to get the project and the art out there and the story, and that's what we're trying to do. Right. And so putting the money together, I mean, that's what we're doing here tonight. That's okay. what we're doing this entire event for. Right. And so not only can we do it, not only can the people help us, but they're going to be setting the example and helping us. Oh, okay. correct. Sorry about that. Right, no, you're fine. They're going to be funding America's future in cinema. Right. Okay, now, now, do you guys have a set budget in mind, or how much money are you trying to raise, or is that information that you know you can let out to the people? Uh, I can let that out. Uh, we're looking to raise about $5,000. Uh, that's going to go towards a lot of what we need, which is the period part of it. Right. You know, because this is a period piece. This is a World War One piece. Okay. So a lot of our money has to go in towards that authenticity of it. Right. And that's the thing about Daryl is that he just wants actual props. Okay. He doesn't want to CGI anything. It's just it's got to be the he real deal. The real deal. He wants the real deal. Okay. And that's what we're trying to do, and that's and, what I'm here for. And you guys just need $5,000. That's all we need. All We've right. got a lot of backers, crew, and everything's already been accounted right. for. Okay. And our location is absolutely for free from a third party. Okay. But other than that, we're just, yeah. Okay, now y'all hear that. They only need $5,000. So we, 
Tell them where they can donate so we can get you that $5,000 so you guys can put this on the screen. Go on to Indiegogo.com and search Ceasefire Short Film. Again, that's Indiegogo.com, Ceasefire Short Film. It's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with... Alyssa Sutton. Francesco. Now, I see you guys, like, y'all kind of, like, real close. What's going on here? Well, we kind of like each other, we think. Oh, he in the game or, you know... I... Yes. So far, he's being pretty good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A oh, real well, gentleman. You yeah. know, there's not many left out there these days. I'm a, it's two of us, me and you. I feel lucky. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm really lucky, surrounded by two gentlemen. You are, you are. You I got know. that right. Okay, now, look, introduce yourself again, and then tell them exactly what it is you do. My name is Alyssa Sutton, and I'm an interior designer. Okay, introduce yourself. Francesco Tirado, I'm an actor. Okay, cool. Now, you say you're a designer. Yes. What kind of stuff you design and where can they go find your stuff and look at it on YouTube and Facebook and go to your website, all of that? There's a couple of videos out there on YouTube. I don't know how great they are, but um, I've done a lot of wonderful things all over the world, from the W Hotel in Hollywood to yachts up and down the coast of California to places in London and Singapore, all over Texas okay. and the United States. Right. It's what, taken me all over the world. Right. Now, what kind of stuff do you design? What do you like designing most? I love to design public spaces. I, homes are really special. Um, I take that back. Homes are really special because you get to design a place for someone to live, make memories, feel comfortable, and create their own oasis in this world. Okay. So to do that, you get to really design something for someone personally. So you get to know them and create something special for them. But public spaces, you get to be more creative because you're creating an experience for a lot of people to enjoy. Okay. Uh -huh. So I like both. Cool. And I love to design furniture. Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I've done it again. <laughs> I'm here with the Babalu Girls. How y'all doing? We are doing great. All right. Y'all looking good in y'all little fitness apparel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Now, first of all, you, you all need to introduce yourself. What's your name? My name is Leticia Rojas. And your name? I am Linda Martinez. And you are? And I am Natalia Escobar. And they are the Babalu Girls. Now, look. How did y'all become um, the Babalu Girls? Well, we became the Babalu Girls because we were introduced to the company and we absolutely loved it. And they liked us, so we got into it. And you like being one of these girls? Of course I do. I love the um, sportswear and beachwear. Um, it's very comfortable, um, very flexible, and very colorful. I love it. Okay, you just told us a little bit about the apparel line, but I want you to sum it all up for everybody. All right. Tell us about so, it. <laughs> so this apparel is brand new to LA. We are the only distributors here. Okay. We actually have a store called babalustore.com and it basically shows all our beach attire, all our little strap-ons for the beach, you know, if you want to cover up, okay. which girls shouldn't be covering up. <laughs> to no, show you no, off the no, body, no, right? No, no, <laughs> and we also no, have <laughs> and we also have gym wear. We have a bunch of, you know, different leggings and different kind of styles of and colors of uh, shirts and a bunch of different suplex and materials and okay. whatnot. But what's great about the material is that it really tightens and tones what like, you know, when we're working out, when you're right. running, it really like presses it together and whatnot. So it's great. I like it a lot. The, okay, so the it's got kind of like some practical functionality Definitely. to it exactly. also. It it's just nice don't look good. So it keeps everything in place when you're working out and stuff. So it's great. Okay. The material is great. Okay. Now, are you guys currently in stores? You're coming in stores? I know they can they get it online? Yes, we actually do have a website. Uh, we also have a showroom in Van Nuys because that's the way, where we are based. Okay, can you give us the website? Um, Babalu. You're just a Babalu. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're just a pretty face. You just, she's just a model. This, this, this model in the business right here. Oh, you give us the website. You just look pretty. Smile, smile. <laughs> it's a babalustore.com. So you should check us out there and see if you like anything. We have a variety of choice from 100 to who knows how many different um, attires. So check it out. Okay. Now, I heard you guys got a fashion show coming up pretty soon, right? Okay. Now, who's going to tell us about the fashion? Uh, you just smile. Be pretty. Now, <laughs> can, you, can you tell us about the fashion show? Yes, I can. So we are having a fashion show at the Roosevelt. <laughs> In Hollywood, we have a bunch of people coming, over 700, and we're going to have um, our gym wear and our swimwear be brought out and display okay. in, on beautiful models, so it's going to be a great, great, great project on the one-way thing we okay. got going Now, on. how can they um, find out about that event? Um, it's actually a private event. Oh, it's private, yeah, so yeah. They, nobody... 
But, 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 if you do go to our Instagram, we're going to put a flyer up. And if you do want to go, you need to tell us in advance. Um, put, a, put a name down with how many people you're going. And just contact us if you really want to go and see our apparel. Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine. And I'm here with my man. This is what this whole event is about. It's Ceasefire. It's his movie. It's Daryl Langford. Junior, how you doing, man? Uh, uh, it's actually Langoff. Lang yeah. Why the hell I put the Langford in there? I knew I was going to mess up. I said too much in the beginning, it's didn't all, I? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, listen. Last name. Now, tell us about the movie, man. Well, Ceasefire is about my great-great-grandfather who fought in World War I. It's about his experience that he had. Um, he pretty much found a wounded comrade on top of a live landmine. Okay. And um, he actually had to team up with the enemy in order to save him. Okay. So the story is about overcoming your, your hate and your prejudice and to help with the enemy and seeing that he's a human being. Okay. Now, did you get the story firsthand from him or, or no, was actually, it come down through the family? It's actually through the family, through my grandfather who heard it from his grandfather. Okay. So, yeah, so, so I kind of want to keep, you know, keep that story going on, but now I have the chance to kind of bring it out to the public now, not just keep it with my family, but, you know, advertise it. Okay. Now, how hard it was it to bring it from just being a story in the family to putting it on film and getting it to where it is right now? Well, we haven't shot it yet, but okay. we're still, we have it written, everything's getting ready to go, which is why we're doing this fundraiser, but it has been a challenge still. I mean, getting the props, getting the World War One reenactors, okay. finding a national trend system. It was tough, it was tough, but you know, I had, I had an amazing producer who helped get me all this and helped me get you know, the, on the right track and we went from there. Okay, now is it going to be feature length or how, how long do you plan on it being when you it, do shoot it? It's going to be a short film because this is my graduating thesis project for school. Oh, okay, and all right. Yeah, so then after this is done, I actually have a feature written for it. So how successful this does is to determine how I'm going to make it into a, a feature film. Okay, so we got to make sure we get that money for you, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. Any donations can, will help. Okay, <laughs> now can you tell them how they can donate? Uh, you go to um, our Indiegogo, um, Seize Fire uh, short film. Um, also, we have a Facebook right now called uh, facebook.com slash uh, ceasefire. And, um, and then we'll also have IMDb up, IMDb up shortly. Okay. Now, is there any other projects you're working on? Any other, any other stuff you want to talk about? Um, as of right now, all my resources are pulled in this one. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> say your money, your mind, yeah, everything, right? Yeah, on this one. Yeah, I, okay. I work one at a time. But, right. yeah, I will have other, other projects coming up, definitely. I want to make a World War One series. Right. Just kind of like Banner Brothers kind of style. But with World War One, I, I try to spread the world, the word of World War One. Okay. So. All right. And there you have it, baby. John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with my man Daryl Lang Golf yep, Jr. Man. Ah, you, you thought I was gonna mess it up that man. time? Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. I'm Velvet Rhodes, the star of Room for Rent, the series, a seven-episode comedy which is all over the world. I'm also. Velvet Roads of Velvet Roads Productions. And we make silly, silly movies right here in glorious Glendale. And I'm the producer of the Glendale International Film Festival, which we are going to have here at the MGN Five Star Cinema, October 9th, 10th, and 11th. So get me some movies. Send me your films and come to the festival. Okay, now how can they send you their films? Well, you can go to velvetroadsproductions.com. You can go to thefilmfreeway.com, the Glendale International Film Festival. You can submit your films in either place. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine. I'm here with my man, Saeed Faraj. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm, I'm doing real good with these names, man. You know what? You are one of the very few people that can pronounce my name correctly. Every time I was like, okay, how I can make them understand the name? Right, right. You know? But it's, it's cool. Yeah. You did it pretty well. You good have deal, to. baby. I'm in the game, yeah. Now listen, tell everybody about what it is you do. Well, I'm a filmmaker. Okay. Of course, I'm an actor. My uh, agent is with me today, okay. uh, Steve Owens, and I have, uh, of course, they couldn't come with me, Sheila, uh, Sheila Leggett and uh, Lene Bell. Right. I need to give them a shout out, uh, Media Artist Group. Shout, shout them out. Yeah, uh, you know what? It's, it's, uh, I want to thank them a lot because they really be working a lot right. uh, and to, to uh, put me in the game. 
Right. Uh, but what I'm very excited about a few things right now. Uh, on, uh, I never said it anywhere, so I'm going to say it here. Okay. I'm flying to go to uh, Sarasota, Florida, uh, next Sunday right. to finish the last details of casting and finishing my new film that's called A Royal Secret, and is with uh, the writer I and mean, me and her. We, we really put it together, and it's a spectacular story. Her name is uh, Carol uh, Capet. Right. And uh, I just, uh, I'm really excited. We're going to shoot it in uh, September. Okay. Uh, at the meantime, there is a great things happening. One of them that uh, is called uh, a film called Sharia, okay. directed by Anwar Smain, is a, one of my uh, first leading role uh, right. of the whole film. Uh, we just came back from Bradenton, Florida, that it won over there, best short film. Okay. And right now is uh, going to be screened at the Action on Film Film Festival. Okay. Uh, there is uh, some few surprises very soon. I will let everybody know about it. But at the same time, last Friday, uh, last Saturday, uh, a film that I'm so happy that uh, that it uh, get accepted in another film festival, right. downtown Los Angeles Film Festival, called The Algerian, directed okay. by Giovanni Zalco, and it's opposite Ben Yusuf and uh, also. Uh, uh, wow, so many, so many, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, uh, Harry, Harry Lennox, gotcha. so, so the film won best uh, picture, best cinematography, okay, and Ben Yusuf got, uh, got uh, best actor, leading role, so I want to congratulate him as well, okay. so there's lots of things going Good on, deal. Man. okay, quickly, the movie, The Night, Cease Fire, uh -huh. um, you know anything about it? Actually, no, I wanted to go check it out, and you know what, I want to wish them all the luck, because you, you know what is very important for us to, to, uh, to get the support, right. especially filmmakers and independent filmmakers. Right, definitely. So I'm really excited, and that's why I came to support them. Okay, baby. <laughs> hey, it's me, Johnny Elgany, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine. I'm here with my man, Pete. Freeland, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We got it here for a great event tonight, and, uh, and and really excited to be a part of it. Okay. Now you know they need five thousand dollars, right? And I know you're a big time actor because I looked at the paper they wrote on. They say you've done all these TV shows. Tell people about a couple of shows you've done. Well, uh, a couple of things. I've got a movie coming out uh, in two weeks that I star in with Eric Roberts and John Ratzenberger. Okay. Uh, so called Vane. Um, you'll see me in a couple of weeks on an episode of Beverly Hills Pawn as one of the main folks. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I was just sitting here grabbing a beverage and I saw <laughs> one of my commercials come up on ESPN. Oh, did you? Uh, so that was, cool. that was kind of fun. Okay. And, uh, and then I'm uh, leading in a TV series coming up uh, in the fall here on Lifetime called Came in heat. Oh man, congratulations on Thanks. that, man. Yeah, beats flipping burgers, man. All Just right. keeping busy. So you getting paid. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty uh -huh. scared. I'm one of these few people that actually are making right. a living at it. Right, you right. Know, you know, keep that standard of living low, but uh, you okay. know, I can only afford three Ferraris, not the five, you right. know, that kind of now thing. Now you know the movie, Cease Fire. They only need five thousand dollars. That's right. Okay. That's right. So yeah, no, we, we were talking with them. We're okay. we're I, I'm a huge indie film supporter. I Good I've deal, uh, SAG right. producer, I've done several indie films and okay. you know that's really the, the secret is is people getting out there and doing it for passion. Right. You know, doing it because that's what they want to do and right. and this film like Cease Fire is right in that category. You Good. know, people doing it from the heart. Good. And that's where you want to support that. Right. And it's good to have people that are established like yourself to come back and be involved with students that, you know, this is his thesis film. And it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get someone like you to come out, you know, because you're busy and, and you won't take the time because, you know, it's a lot. Well, so it's good, like man. that. But this is, this is where it starts, you know. This right. is the beginning point, the germination. I mean, who knows who's the next George Lucas or Steven exactly. Spielberg. And it's just about getting the opportunity, you know. That's, right. that's, and that's what events like this are about, is getting the opportunity to get out there and do it. Right. And that's good. Now, it is very good you came out to support this man, being, you know, so as successful as you you are it's good to see you out here supporting that i commend you for that oh thank you I, well, i'm just a dude i'm all just a guy i'm right. just your average guy out here okay but uh just you know part of being supportive for indie films and, okay and doing now, what uh, fellow filmmakers okay, and now how can you doing. your fans out there and the fans you're going to get just from doing this because they see you a good guy uh, how can they follow you on all that stuff uh, well, I've got uh, a Facebook fan site. I've got a couple uh, websites, PeteFreeland.com, PeteFreeland.net. Okay. Uh, of course, my Twitter, I've got about 20, 30,000 followers on that. Okay. And, and that's where I'm going to take and put out links like the details on the ceasefire film, okay. right. you know, where folks who, who want to find out more about it, they can plug into it and they can check right. on those links and, and some of those things and, and find out more and, and get involved, not just be a spectator, but get involved in the arts, uh, especially like this, independent and student films. This, this is where it starts. Right. And you see that? This is my man, Pete Freeland, 
and you know our magazine, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, is about supporting the artists on the rise, and I know they appreciate you doing that, man. Oh, well, we appreciate what you guys are doing, you know, giving all of us here starting a, a chance. You know, that's all we're looking for is that opportunity and that chance to do what we love. Right. And, and that's what it's about. Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with Judy Carmen. How you doing? I am doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now listen, tell everybody about who you are. I just told them your name, but tell them what you do. I am a producer and an actress. I have Lady J Entertainment, and I'm just getting ready to join the team of Dream Cinema Productions. Okay, and doing in what capacity? As a producer and an actress. Okay, well, okay let, let's talk about your acting first. Okay. Um, what projects are you involved in, you have been involved in? I have been involved in some short films. Okay. One of them, actually a couple of them have actually gone to um, a few um, film festivals. Okay. And um, you can find that out on my IMBD. Right. But um, I have one called um, Permanent Vacation and The Vision, which have gone to the Portland Film Festival. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. And I also am a radio co-host on LA Talk Radio on Friday nights with Cameron Sports and Life. So I'm a busy girl. Oh, you sound like you're a busy I girl. I really busy Now, girl. and that's just your acting and talent side. Okay. Now let's get into what, what, what's the producing about? My producing, I, I have always had a business side about me. Okay. And so I was able to sit down with the um, CEO of Dream Cinemas, who is Racer Michaels, and he is taking me on as a producer. Whoa. So that is going to be rolling out in the next couple months. Hey, it's me, John L. Ganey, the Hollywood Elevator Magazine, and I'm here with a husband and wife. How you guys doing? We're doing great. Now, I ain't say your name, because I'm going I'm, I'm to let you introduce yourself. Okay. Tell them who you are. I'm Dawn Christie. And I have a radio show on LA Talk Live. And we, Johnny and I, have a spiritual retreat okay. and work on the mind, body, and soul. Okay, now you hold that. Let me go to Johnny here. Introduce yourself. Hey, Johnny Christie and Don's husband for 20 years. Oh, okay. And we, we work together on a radio show and, and um, helping people get in shape. Okay. So we do a whole, John does a whole spiritual retreat and spa. And I'm um, part of that. I help people work out and all do the right. training part. You help them eat right and live yeah. right and, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's and all we good. Work with a lot of actors to okay. get them where they need to be. Because actors be all over the place. Y'all got to bring all them back and ground them, right? right? Okay, now I also saw, saw that you're a psychic. Is that true? I, that's what God did, yeah. Early, early, early four years old. Did you know you was going to talk to me tonight before you got here? I know that you really love. He loves a microphone. Let me tell you, honey. A, a man with a, a man with a green shirt and a hat. Wait a minute. Hi, I'm John Wusa. And you're Hi there. My name is Marie Anderson. You're. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Francesco. Hi, I'm Pete Freeland, one of the lead actors in the new upcoming feature film Vane. My and name is Jay Z Long. I am Judy Carmen. And you hi, I'm Timothy Ryan Lar. We are the Babalu Girls. Natalia. Linda. Leticia. Hollywood Elevator Magazine. the artist on the rise. Right. Hello, my name is Daryl Langhoff Jr., a writer and director of Seize Fire, and you're watching the Hollywood Elevator Magazine for the artists of the rise.